See, someone who's done this 20 times would, would just be did, 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 done. And like, how do we know that square? We need to measure the size of the building slab and then the yard at the front. We're going to concrete the yard at the front first, so, but we need to know where the building is to do that perfectly. But where do you want to start from? We need to we, start. We, you go, we're going to get that now. Hold on, go. Now it's 22. Go more. Yeah, go that way more. More. I don't think we've done the fucking pad fucking big enough. Put it down on the ground. How far are you in from the edge? We need tape, no? No, how far? From the edge here? Yeah. Just guess a meter or something. No, from that edge behind you. Two and a half, three metres. He don't know what the fuck he's going on about. There we've got 500 mil. Two and a half, three metres. Let's go see this. What? what? Okay, that's good, because over there is 500. Over there it looked like you had nothing. One, two, two and a half, three metres. <laughs> I know, man. Yeah, I look where I am, I'm right on it. Okay, that's good. But how do we know it's square? I'm saying, where did you want to come to? Because look at this straight, this ain't really an edge. That's not bad. It's just maths and just doing it right. It's so important to get that accurate. If we do this size wrong now, when we do the base for the building, it's going to be sticking out. Very early, I'm a bit sleepy still, but the diggers come in. Lionel and Josh are not here, they're at home. It's too early for them. So we've popped here, we get the delivery of the digger, and then we'll head back to base. But any minute now, digger should be delivered. Um, the guys haven't seen it, I just popped out one day, found the particular one I wanted, Hitachi 8.5 ton digger. And he's coming right now, I'm so excited. Hello! Yeah. Alright! Digger! Well, it's three times the size of the Bobcat. Three times. Oh. Oh no. What you gotta do? Take it back where it come from. I'm hoping not. Chaos. Should have been an easy morning unloading the digger. Do you wanna back up and then pull in here? Jeepers. He must have just ripped that handle too hard, just heavy handed. Oh, it's not ideal, is it? Latch is broke. And if we can't open the door, we can't get the digger off. Joys of the job. There's not a cable, there's like a little plastic nugget. Yeah. I've got no no tools. You got like flathead screwdriver, little one. Red long nose pliers, I bet I could do it. Oh. What the hell? Hello? Yeah, yeah hello. Well, 
the driver jumped up on the trailer and pulled the door handle and snapped the latch. I, I got some screwdrivers from him and I managed to get the door open. Compared to the Bobcat, is a whole different uh, kettle of fish, isn't it? Does the colour suit me? Do you ever dream you'd have a toy like this? I don't dream, I just know. What the hell? Oh, he needs us to move our cars. So I've got this great idea for a new concrete form bracket because there's a lot of movement on the other ones. I've spent a couple of hours designing it. We'll screw this to the back of a piece of 8x2 timber and that's our edge shutter in for when we do the concrete forms. Um, we can bang the pin through there and tighten the bolt up there with a nut gun and that will lock it in place. And lots of movement so it's just going to make the job easier. There's the parts. Oh, they're going. Okay, it's sorted. We're unloading the parts we need for the brackets to do our concrete shuttering. It's a new design that I've done and it's going to work great. You can't be sitting down doing five mil plates. I have to, I can't see the backstop if I'm standing up. Because you're so tall. Oh uh, yeah, I literally can't do it standing up. It's just not a job you do sitting down. Why? Because you've got to be you got to be mobile, ready. Ready for what? What, for it to fold? You don't need to see the backstop, you just put it into its stop. Nah, I'm, look, I'm, a, I'm a precision operator. He's saying he needs to sit down to do that. Nah, you better wear glasses, bro, or do some life pop out when you go in your eye. Exactly, you need well, glasses. You, at least he can actually verbalise that. You were just like, nah. Believe it or not, this is, this is not a hobby. This is how we how the business makes money, so we've got to crack on. All these trolleys lined up is work waiting to happen and we're messing up production, so I think Alex will come through and have a moan. I'm gonna go test it at Swavex. Oh yeah, that's perfect now. So we just need to rework every single one then. No, we haven't folded them. This is how the product works. And then the wood here is your concrete face. So if it's gone out of line, you loosen the bolts, move the shutter in, clamp it back up, yeah. even lift the height. That it will, amazing. That's a product, 100%. There's one done. How many do we need on the project? Uh, 55. <laughs> <laughs> it's Hitachi orange. Hitachi? Why don't it say that on it? I think because that back weight's been repainted. How has that happened then? It's stolen, isn't it? <laughs> well, yeah, I've, I've... I stole it from down the way. Did you get a good deal on it? Yeah, I got it for free. For free? <laughs> Screwdriver what? digger. Five finger discount. Fucking hell. You lose your eye. No, basically the lorry driver ripped the handle off and it snapped it. What do you mean ripped it off? I don't know, he just manhandled it. Why have you got a digger this big? You can barely drive the other one. I was going to buy a bigger one than this. Mm. Bang the door, because that's what I'd done earlier, and it opened. There we go. <laughs> then, that. I don't know, I'm gonna get used to this. Holy shit. I gotta get used to this. This is definitely three times the size of the Bobcat. Like, the, it's three times the work and three times the reach. And it's, I don't know, it's much nicer.
I like to see that he's finally made, he's been talking about the possibility of buying a bigger digger since we started this project. So um, it's nice to see that he's finally made the decision. We'll see how accident prone he is on it. He's fairly safe operator on the smaller one. And I like that he's had a decent amount of training on that. So it's just doing that, but on a bigger scale, isn't it? That's my first bit. It's a bit wavy, but on here, I just got, it's all right. I think I, I like that digger. Maybe it's too small. Lionel, stop fucking about. No one wants to see that shit. Go in the hole, Lionel. Drive over the string. Them brackets we made at the factory, we need to screw on here. So this is a perfect workbench. We're simply just gonna screw them on. That with the bottom, that's our concrete shuttering. Absolutely amazing product. Until all this falls, because you do stupid shit. Um, not necessarily, whoever put the battens underneath. Just left this job behind. He's left the car there, the telly hand that's still in here. For whatever reason, he's decided he's gonna dig the ramp out. I really want to get the telly handler out before he does so, because I don't think he's put... Are we going to drive the car out of that, off that edge? He said, just leave it here. I put the digger away now, but this needs a scrape. them I mean somehow it's bang on level yo don't move the string yeah string line and level it okay. yeah yeah is it good yeah. we'll let go with your hands I've never seen such a good good fucking product <laughs> I'm not even just saying it that up there on the blue line. You know, this is a whole nother headache. We need this to be coming lower this end because of the water. Otherwise, when it rains, if it's level, we just need the water to if run off this end. someone from the level would be able to check if it's level or not. How, how many millimetres do you want to... I need to Google it, but I was going to do 50, but maybe we don't need 50 over six metres. In the yard at the forest, we're doing the set out for the concrete. Over six metres, how much lower does it need to be to have the rainwater run in that direction, away from the building? One in 60 surface drainage minimum, outdoor slabs and yards. 100 millimetres over six metres. Fucking no chance. It doesn't need to be that much. It just needs to be a gentle slope. You in just a little bit angle. Move the telehandler, move that piece of wood, move that piece of wood, move the roller. I'll get the orange digger. I'll drive in here and we'll set up the laser on this level and we'll go down 75 mil, like from there to there. We'll roller that and then break this edge with just a rake and roller that and then that will be our height and we'll just sand it again. That's the easiest, quickest way to deal with this. Yeah, so we need to just reset it on that bang on. There we go. 37, actually, it's not that good. Why? Plus wooden. Oh, you're clever. Plus 200. Yeah. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 9, and 20. Is that what you said?
I'll tell you what, dry, that Bobcat white digger, which I don't know what it's in, compared to this, this is a two-wheeled bicycle with handlebars. The Bobcat is like riding a unicycle. We're, I think what took me two weeks, I could have done in a day with this. They're so much more accurate, more comfortable, the controls are more accurate. Unbelievable machine.